So hi, um, I'm going to tell you how to create a Wikispace classroom today. Um, this basically allows you to go online and share projects and assessments with your students and uh, you're, you can monitor, monitor their activity in real time. Like um, It will show their activity within the last 30 minutes, which I will show you later on in the video. But um, it's very easy to use, pretty self-explanatory. The there's um, you can monitor the discussions uh, with comments and all that. So first, you wanna if you don't have a wiki space, you're going to want to create an account. So just obviously you're a teacher, so you would want to create a teacher classroom. So just enter your username, email, and password, and then click create classroom. I already have an account, so I'm just going to sign in. Not much to it. <laughs> Alright, sorry about that. So, when you create your classroom, It will bring you up to your, your wiki page, and uh, it's so nice because it welcomes you to your classroom. Uh, you can add comments, and this is where you can talk to your students, and they can just freely discuss. Obviously, you can monitor that, monitor that as well, and delete any comments that you wish to. Uh, but before you can do any of that, you kind of need some members, so you go to the members tab and create members. You can invite people, enter their email up to 100, or you can switch to the bulk user and um, add students that way, so just upload a spreadsheet file or a text list. Um, you can also go back real quick. You can also create a code uh, this will expire though, um, but other than that, you'll just, once you send the emails, you'll see the list of the pending invitations, and then this will be with the, the code, but they, once they accept, they'll be added up here, and if you decide that you just have a grudge against that student, you can remove them, and, you know, make them suffer, but that's besides the point. Uh, you can create projects, so um, I've created two projects, both video projects. Um, here you can, you're able to create teams, um, we're going to say video paper this time, just change it up. Uh, but you are able to create teams if it's a team project. Uh, basically just pretty self-explanatory. You're also able to create events, um, so you can view it month by the month, week, day, or in a list. You can also create a new event, so you can just add, we'll go on another field trip because we like field trips. You're able to add a comment, so And you'll obviously want a start and end date. We'll go with the 23rd, because field trips are awesome on Mondays. So, Wikispace will tell you that you've now created a new event, which is very convenient. Um, so, after that, you can view the, the students and how much activity they've been um, you can view their activity over the last 30 minutes. You can see from least greatest or, or excuse me, this is least greatest. This would be greatest to least. Um, from there, you can just change your settings, which allows you to change your uh, domain name and the um, the theme and the colors. Uh, you're also able to. Um, click on like the these quick buttons 
and that would allow you to create a page from just all in one place. So that's a lot quicker, I think, but it's whatever you want to do, really. Um, you're able to delete the comments if a student says something nasty or something like that. I don't know. You can always delete it. You can also uh, reply to that. Uh, you're able to start monitoring and you can lock the replies or just delete the event altogether. Okay, so a teacher example of a good Wikispace classroom is um, Miss Sheffel's class. Uh, they have created a wiki classroom in order to um, share their projects and see their homework if they forget what they got or whatever. Um, she's updated the parents monthly newsletter so parents will be able to come online and download this and just see what's going on. Um, she's added like she's asked her students to tell her favorite things about the school year, um, told them to add their poems here so that she can just see it from her wiki space so there's no worry of turning it into the teacher and then it being misplaced or lost, never to be found again. So that's a plus for sure. Um, she has different, different sections. So the homework page, like I said, so the students are able to see what they have as homework, they have vocabulary words for upcoming tests and things like that. Um, helpful links, so just to help them advance in their learning. Uh, she has educational links, so uh, they can see, like, based on the subject, different websites that would help them with that. Um, you can see the student work, because they each have their own uh, page in here. She has a poll in here, which I think is so cute. You can just have a little poll just for fun, so kind of challenge yourself a little, make sure you know the material for the test. And she has uh, a page for just the teachers so that they can share and discuss with their learning class and just some really awesome things like that. She also has the parent page uh, so that parents know what's going on in class. Obviously they don't have to look at this stuff, but it certainly is helpful. Um, so yeah, that's a good, good example of how to use Wikispace Classroom to your advantage. Um, I hope this helps. Thanks for watching and good luck.